Okay, so I did want to get these welded in. I know I said that last week, but I am waiting for some new wire to arrive. Um, so unfortunately I can't do that. What I am going to do today is I'm going to make up some more of these um, barrel penetrators. I've got loads of them to do. They've all got to be done. So I've also ordered the tower assembly. Uh, that's the, uh, I'm getting the, the company that manufactured the hull. They are going to roll weld the, the, uh, the tower tube. They're also going to put the uh, hatch land ring on the top and weld that in and x-ray all the joints the same as as this um i'm not so i'm going to weld the, the viewports in so when it arrives it'll it'll have a tacked plate in um but i'll have to then cut the holes grind it and put the put the viewports in and then i'm going to have to um get that hatch land skimmed somehow i'm not sure how i'm going to do that yet um i've got a friend of mine who's got a bridge port so i'm kind of hoping that we might be able to rig something up to to get it in that, um, although he doesn't know that yet. I think what I'm going to do is for this, I think I'm going to get the collet chuck out simply because uh, I, it's easier for uh, moving if I can st take stuff in and out. Do you know what? I am going to swap this blade over for one with bigger teeth. I, I want to try it and see what, what it's like. This one's a 14 TPI. And I think this one, I think it's a six. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is a six. So it's a proper chomper. Right, let's try this with a uh, 6 TPI blade I think it did do it quicker actually A decent cut So my Actual one is uh, 76.5, which is actually three inch, is actually what the dimension is. And this one is uh, 80.36, so tickled to come off of this one. Center drill. Should be going faster than this, actually. I don't know, just pick a size to go in and let's go for nine millimeter. I think it'll probably be right. Right, I'm gonna go uh, 470 for the speed for this uh, 14 and a half millimeter. I'm going to sharpen the drill after this. What a difference when you got a nice sharp drill. Just sharpen the drill up here. It's a six millimeter pilot hole. It's a 15 millimeter main hole. I'm going to use the M16 machine reamer. I'm going to use this. Plenty of that one. Let's do it. got a really nice smooth bore there, I don't know if you can see it. Right now I don't uh, really like doing this job, not because it's difficult, but because um, these, these little carbide inserts are really expensive. 
they're the only ones that I've found anywhere that you can get. I don't know if anyone knows of ones that you can get. This is a three millimeter um, grooving tool with a, into a, a tool that is uh, 11 millimeters. And that is the absolute minimum, sorry, maximum size that will fit into this 16 millimeter bore not been able to find anything else so I've got to go with these really expensive ones I mean it's good but the problem is that it's really easy to break these tools the slightest um, you know it, it, well they're really awkward anyway I'm rambling on right I've zeroed this off and that is my zero position there I've got to go down this is where you've got to be so careful. If you, if I catch the edge of that tool as I'm coming in here, it breaks it. So it's coming down a quarter of an inch, which uh, is 6.36. Quarter of an inch, six, what, 6.35, yeah, okay. 6.35, right. So I've gone down 6.35 there and now I've got to go another three millimeters to allow for the groove. I'm going to touch off first. Let's have a look, see how that looks. Um, and it's good. So I'm just uh, making another one of these barrel penetrators. And I'm just at the point where I need to uh, put my reamer through. Now, I was always told to use a reamer with uh, at half, the, half the spindle speed and twice the feed, so half speed, twice feed. Um, and that's how I've kind of always done it, but I've, I'm gonna go with a method which I find, uh, have been finding recently, is being better. Now, that, to me, that seems to be giving a, a better result than just driving it straight through with the half feed twice, half speed twice feed method. That's fine, that's the same as the others. See it? Yeah. Just gonna, uh, Give this a rub down now with some um, acetone. Right, so now these can come off. My stiffening plate. That needs to be cramped on. So my root has come through, as I would expect. Um, and I can just get a, uh, a MIG pass on that now. Or do I do it from the other side? I, th I think I'm just gonna go from this side actually because it's all through nicely just need to get my uh, I'm upside down here by the way let's get some cramps on that um, I can I can get round here easy now no problem with that uh, 
and I'm just thinking about the other side. Do I do it from this side first or from the other side? I don't suppose it makes a lot of difference to be honest. Still got to get at it from both sides. Okay, so I have sort of tacked these in. It's a bit more of a tack really. That's what about 25, 30 millimeter. Uh, we're now going to flick it over and I've actually remembered my straps this time. So hopefully this might be a bit easier. Right, in order to just quick be able to sort of try and spin this round easier, I'm just going to quickly make a spreader bar. I've got a piece of uh, whatever that is, channel, 40 millimeter maybe, and uh, like a U-bolt thing. I don't know where, what that was for or where it came from, but uh, let's just quickly cobble this up and see if we can uh, flick this over a bit easier. Right, so sort of rigged up my spreader bar. Let's uh, see if it works. Feel as if maybe I should have put some stoppers on the end. But let's see. Bending, actually, actually bending quite a lot. So maybe this isn't a good idea. I think I might put it down. Bent bar isn't good. Why can't I just spin this over easier? To do it like I did it last time, I suppose. Just kind of lump it. That's no good anyway. That's, that was bending. It was way too iffy. Goodbye, I survived. We'd like weld two together, I suppose. Um, Right, so more of a palaver than I thought, but I've managed to get the, uh, the clamps on and I've just done it with whatever I had floating about. But that, my, my plate now is uh, firmly cramped on. So the idea of that is that it might, it will hopefully help to, to hold the shape. So I can uh, get, my, get my root pass in now. So I've managed to, uh, Get a little bit done, um, kind of a bit difficult to see around the other side. I've done a fairly longish run around the other side, but I was getting there with that. But then uh, I've got a problem with my machine now, so I've got to just try and work that out. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to carry on with some more of these these uh, hole penetrators. Well, I've done four now, um, but I've kind of stalled on welding that viewport in because of this machine problem, which I need to figure out. But uh, I'm going to help my dad with something now, so I'll have to go.